welcome to my channel so I know it's a bit noisy but today I thought I'd just show you how to valorize this dress in multiple ways and as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters so we wear we repeat we <laughs> find multiple ways to wear an item by incorporating stuff we have already owned so you guys can do it too in perfect sustainability it's absolutely welcome so here are some tips on how to be more imperfectly sustainable so let's do this guys bado dresses or off the shoulder dresses are my favorite styles and I often don't like to put them away even when it's fall but oftentimes I take the risk of styling them in early fall by simply pairing them with an over the knee boot and a shared tights so this is what I did for this one on a day when it was really really a beautiful one an option is often to add a trouser or a denim and this could be a denim of the same color like I did here and this is something I often do in summers as well as early fall you would note that in my thrifting during the times of COVID video I was wearing my distressed jeans so it's one of the things I often do I try to prolong <laughs> and stretch my summer items into early fall and winter as well of course it helps if you're being driven or if you are driving yourself around but yeah this is one of my tips on how you could valorize your battle pieces but don't be catching a chill for me guys throw a shawl over or a cape So this dress you guys have seen quite recently in my last Zara haul and it's quite a bright color. This is fuchsia pink and it's often shocking to the eyes if you are not someone who is into colors. But fortunately or unfortunately, <laughs> I am into colors so I love keeping these pieces for fall because they often cheer me up. I cannot go through the whole fall or winter without wearing colors. Oh my God, that would be too depressing. So what I often do in cases like this, I like to add a more muted color piece to it. And in that way, I still keep it in the family of colors as well. The third tip is to go monochromatic. This is one of the most widely recommended <laughs> styling tip because it is a no-brainer. It's really, really a great tip. I love a monochromatic look. Often we associate monochromatic with just neutral colors, but my God, I love the way this turned out. And the top is a piece I had in my closet that was given to me a few years back. And it's polyester, for sure. But it pairs beautifully with this. As I've often recommended, wear your pieces to death, especially your synthetic pieces, because that's the only way right now to keep them out of landfills. Another tip is to pair with a killer pair of nylons. And as you know, nylons are synthetic materials, so it's a good way to keep them out of landfills as well and to get your costs per wear. And don't be shy to add your jewelry to the look. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys, if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons 
you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly, guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love you. Let's get back to the video. Tip number four is to add florals. And by this, I mean add florals. <laughs> I love florals. As a Caribbean woman, I grew up with flowers all around me. So, yeah. Florals are not just relegated for spring. No. Actually, you can rock your floral pieces in the fall as well. And I think that pairing a bold color piece like this with a floral piece definitely add some creativity as well as frankly it looks great i love this look and of course i'm pairing it with my belt ha huh. no brainer guys <laughs> so i would just let this other pairing speak for itself it's a balloon sleeve it's also florals it has colors from within the same family so for me this was definitely a no-brainer and it's a piece that has been in my closet for a little bit now so enjoy the look So for the rest of the styling, this is pretty simple. You just do your usual thing. Add your favorite coat, be it a trench or a long line blazer or yeah, you do your thing. The possibilities are quite open here and it's quite dependent on your style. For me, this is the norm. This is how I style my pieces. A belt and, of course, add a neutral piece to it. This light pink, it's definitely sticking to the family. But at the same time, you could also deviate. Here is where you could deviate from the family relations. You could add a brown piece. Brown is definitely trending right now. That's my second favorite color. So it would pair just as beautifully with this future pink piece. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.